Hi everyone. At this picture you see wireless connection between two switches. Let's assume that the connection already working. And now let's say you want to have IPTV on the end device. Sometimes you might have problem with multicast. If you do, one of the solutions is to create Ethernet over IP tunnel. We will remove wireless LAN from the bridge and create a tunnel between them on top of an IP connection. All Ethernet traffic will be bridged, like just like there were a cable between two Ethernet interfaces. I'm connected on one microtech and now I'll connect to other side or management IP address of the device. Both devices are reachable, everything works. Let's start. First, define additional IP address on both sides. Range doesn't matter. For example, 1.1.1.1/30 only take interface WLAN. Same on the other side, just be sure they're in the same subnet. So 1.1.1.2 slash 30 and interface WLAN. Okay, now <coughs> let's create EOIP tunnel on both sides. Local address is new defined address of device dot one in this case in remote address is dot two and some tunnel ID. Same on other side only with reverse addresses. Local is dot two and remote is dot one but same tunnel ID don't forget that. Next part is crucial first on remote device change wireless mode from station WDS to station bridge and disable WDS. After this you will lose connection but you still can return to local device. Decide, disable WDS on unit 1 2. Bridge is still bridge. Other router is disconnected and you need to reconnect. Is it work? Yes, great. Go to bridge and add tunnel you created and remove wireless LAN. Again you will lose connection so it's important first make this on remote device and same on local device. Unit 2 is disconnected only need some time so I'll close the window and connect again and it works again. Since my routers are in the kingdom far far away you must be careful with commands order so you, you don't lose wireless connection to other side. If you still lose it, try to make make telnet and fix it. So you don't need to drive to to the location. Take a practice with some closed devices first. Now I'm on the computer at the end of the link and I'll remove my static IP address and get one from DHCP. If you remember picture from the beginning of video. Let's see what I've got. This is my new address so I can turn on IPTV. I'll run VLC. After three days working, see how many frames has passed. Actually, this black background is my ongoing video only record it doesn't record it and only one discarded frame. Our job is done. At the end if you want you can change MTU size on all interfaces. I put 1800 
I'm, I'm on unit 2 now. So go to all of them. And, and change it. Same on unit one. Eighteen hundred. I'll just keep it in the interface because. I lose my connection. I'll, I'll do it at the end. And bridge two. Okay, now I'll change it here. Uh, and that's it. If you follow this configuration, please don't be lazy to write down a comment no matter if it went good or bad. Thanks and see you later.